everyone, Caroline Roberts here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about waking up early to spend time with God. I am making this video because on my last video, I shared how waking up at 3 a.m. drew me closer to God. And a lot of you guys were asking me, how are you able to wake up at 3 a.m. in the morning? So I decided to create this follow-up video just to give you guys my tips, talk a little bit more about my routine, and give you an idea of how you can personally wake up early. It doesn't matter what time it is, whether it's 3 a.m., 5 a.m., it's totally up to you, but how you can wake up early and spend that time with God as well. So if that's something that you're interested in, then definitely stay tuned. So tip number one, this tip is pretty obvious, but I think it's easier said than done. This tip is to go to bed early. Your form of early may be different than my form of early because our bodies are different. Everyone is built differently. So don't beat yourself up about it. Know your body, know what type of sleeper you are. Are you a light sleeper? Are you a deep sleeper? I can wake up just like this. So I don't actually use an alarm. So the Holy Spirit will wake me up whenever he wants to wake me up. And I made that video during a period in my life where God was waking me up at 3 a.m. consistently, but then there has been seasons in my life where it's 5 a.m. So it really doesn't matter the time, but I'm a light sleeper and I'm very spiritually sensitive. So I just wake up when God wakes me up. I don't really know how to explain it, but my first tip, like I said, is to go to bed early. When I was waking up at 3 a.m., I was going to bed at 10 p.m. Not trying to go to bed 10 p.m. like you're in your deepest sleep. I believe they call it REM sleep. So you wanna make sure you're in bed like 30 minutes before so that you can actually be really asleep in your deep sleep by the time that you need to be. So I believe that's like four or five hours of sleep that I would get and then I would wake up at 3 a.m., spend time with God, but the next tip is gonna be very important and it'll make more sense when we move on to this next tip. But that is my first tip, guys, is to wake up early, but you need to decide what is early for you. What does early look like? For you, it may not be 10. For me, 10 is early. When I am not on a waking up early spree, when I'm like waking up at regular times, like eight or nine, I can go to bed around like 12, one, two. So I'm actually a night owl. So for me, going to bed at 10 is really early early. All right, so make sure you go to bed early so that you can wake up early. All right, tip number two, and this is going to make more sense as we go into all the tips, but tip number two is to sleep train your body and take naps. Now, a lot of you guys asked, like, what do I do after I spend time with God and I've woken up at 3 a.m.? Do I just go about my day? Do I make breakfast or do I go back to sleep? Y'all, I go back to sleep right? So this is not a competition of who can get the least sleep. That is not what we're trying to do here. I actually want you to get the recommended amount of sleep as an adult, eight hours of sleep. I usually get like seven, but like eight hours of sleep, seven hours of sleep. I still want you to be healthy, right? So I wake up early. I spend time with God. I can spend like two or three hours with him. And then I take a nap. I go back to sleep and the reason why I like to wake up early instead of, you know, just always spending time with God during the day is because during the day I have to work, during the day there's distractions, during the day my kids are asking me for snacks and this and that. During the day the news comes on and the world is awake and you hear about all these things happening. There's just so much happening during the day. I find that waking up in the middle of the night, the world is quiet, everyone in my house is sleeping. I can hear God more clearly. I'm not, you know, focused on what's happening in the news. I'm not focused on, you know, meetings. So that is the whole purpose of waking up early. It's not to, you know, see how much you can function on less sleep. I still want you guys to get sleep, okay? So that's really important to mention. But I go back to sleep and I take a two or three hour nap and I wake up again and start my morning. So kids ready for school, breakfast, 
all those different things like that. So that's very important to know. It's okay to go back to sleep and take a nap after you have spent, you know, an hour, two hours with God, reading your Bible, praying, worshiping, etc. So that is my second tip of how you can wake up early to spend more time with God. Tip number three. Now, this has really helped me a lot. And I realized that I wake up early more whenever I am like fasting or whenever I kind of change my diet a bit. So I realized that when I'm eating like heavy foods, um, you know, fried foods, when I'm eating a lot of meats, that I sleep longer and sometimes I'm more sluggish, right? So if you really want to get into waking up early, it may require some changes in your diet because whenever I'm doing like a spiritual fast or something where we're mostly eating like fruits and veggies, I feel lighter. Um, I feel more awake. I feel more sensitive, more in tune with the spirit. So just changing my diet sometimes is what I need to give me that extra boost of energy and energy is so important and if you're eating a lot of fatty foods and a lot of heavy foods when you go to sleep your body is trying to recuperate your body is trying to process everything and break it down so if you eat lighter foods and healthier foods then it's gonna be way easier for your body to wake up so Really take a look at your diet and the type of foods that you're eating that can contribute to whether or not you're having a hard time waking up in the morning. Number four, now this is tried and true. This is one that I still do to this day because I realized when I didn't used to do this, I would wake up and then I'll fall back to sleep right away without really being able to spend time with God. So this helps you if you feel like you do wake up, but you know, you're sitting in your bed and you fall back asleep this will help you. So what I recommend that you do is you wake up, move to a different room or a different location of your house instead of sitting in the bed and you turn on the light, the bright light to awaken you. So it's going to be hard if you just, you know, you say, okay, I'm going to wake up and spend time with God and you just sit up in your bed and turn on the lamp and try to take out your Bible. Honey, you're going to be on that Bible sleep like... All right, so you want to really wake yourself up, turn on the lights, get up, move, you know, put some movement into it, move to a different part of the room, a different part of the house, and really make your environment conducive to you getting up in the morning. So that is my next tip. And this is kind of going to go in line with our last tip. So if turning on the light and moving to another place is not enough for you, then you want to take these next steps. And I have had times and seasons where, you know, turning on the light and stuff like that, it was not enough. And I had to take that extra step. So sometimes if you feel like you're in a really sluggish season, you feel like it's really hard. Every time you read the Bible, it's like you're falling asleep. Like really take these next steps into consideration. So tip number five. Tip number five is, you know, if all else fails, if you tried to turn on the light, you tried to do these things, but you're still falling asleep, you're not really able to wake up, wake up and before you spend time with God, work out, okay? Work out, get the adrenaline flowing, get those endorphins moving, work out and you could be listening to worship music while you're working out. You can be listening to some upbeat worship music and then let that lead into you spending time with God because now you're awake, you're energized and you're ready for the day. And another thing that I have done is take a shower, okay? So if, if the working out is too much for you, you're like, I ain't working out, I ain't doing push-ups at 3 a.m., but I really want to do this. I really want to wake up earlier because during the day I'm so busy and I can't really spend time with God during the day, so I would like to do it in the middle of the night. Take a shower, okay? So soon as you get up, don't think twice about it. Just hop in the shower, do a nice cool shower, waking yourself up <laughs> with the cool water. It doesn't have to be cold, but don't use warm water because warm water is going to put you right back to bed, honey. So kind of lukewarm water right a little coolness to it that'll get you awake that'll get you fresh that'll get you ready to go for the day 
spend a few hours with God and then go back and take your nap, go back and go to sleep if you can, and then wake up to actually start the day. So I hope that that was helpful to you guys. If it was, leave it a thumbs up. Let me know which tip you are going to try. And also, I want to let you guys know that this month I'm taking a few more people to work with me. For some of you guys who may not know, I am a writer and entrepreneur. So if you are looking to write or publish a book or if you are a blogger or an entrepreneur, trying to build your business fill out the form on my website at caroline.com slash wwm so definitely check that out and if it's your first time on my channel don't forget to subscribe and if you're not following me on instagram be sure to follow me on there as well all right i love you guys so much and i'll see you in my next youtube video until next time bye